Hey everyone, hope you're doing okay. I wanted to talk to you real quick about what you need, you need to be doing with your uh, with your lawn right now. If you did not get a pre-emergent put down um, this spring or in the fall, um, if, if that's the case, if you skipped out on the on the on the on the pre-emergent for whatever reason, um, not all hope is lost. You are going to have to to deal with weeds this year. You're going to have to battle weeds. There's going to be no way around that. Uh, but not all hope is lost. Um, first and foremost. You do need to have a post-emergent on hand uh, to deal with these weeds as they come up. Something for broadleaf weeds, something for grassy weeds. Uh, you just need to have something available that you can go out there and treat them as you see them. But don't think that that's the only answer to this. Don't don't try to, to, to solve the problem of, of weeds by, by spraying a post-emergent all over your yard all the time. The best way to deal with your weeds right now, uh, going forward without a pre-emergent, is going to be by having a healthy lawn, having a healthy uh, a turf, a strong turf, a, a strong root system for your turf. Um, that's going to be the best way to do it, a nice thick lawn. So you need to be feeding your lawn. Um, if you've got soil compaction, make sure you, you get an aeration, loosen up that soil, break it up so that those root systems can really grow and your, and your lawn can thrive. Um, water it properly, mow it every single week. Those things are going to be the best way for you to deal with weeds um, the rest of this year if you didn't get a pre-emergent down. And then um, if you do all of those things, uh, then as you see weeds popping up here and there, you can hit them with the post immersion. Uh, but that's going to be your plan uh, for the rest of this year. Um, again, if you didn't get it, you're going to battle weeds no matter what. There's no way around it if you didn't get the pre-emergent. But not all hope is lost. You can turn your lawn around, um, and you need to. There's no reason to, to put it off. Um, putting it off is a mistake as well. Uh, some people will just say, I'll just wait till next year. I'll start on all this stuff next year. I'll try to turn it around. The longer you wait, uh, the worse it gets. So don't put it off. Um, you can still turn things around this year. It's just gonna be a little bit slower of a process. You're still gonna have to deal with weeds. So hope that helps. Let's know if you have any uh, questions about that. Thanks.